Hey gang, welcome to the big board. So tonight, I promised that I would do this draw. Uh, and the reason for the draw is uh, twofold. Uh, one, uh, least importantly, uh, I was looking to uh, garner some help from all of you in regards to uh, battles where the function of time was critical to the battle and if, uh, for instance, if uh, uh, Blucher had not arrived when he did, what may have happened? Uh, or if, uh, you know, the, uh, an army had more time to execute against their plan or had received those reinforcements sooner, uh, then perhaps uh, we might have had a different outcome. And so I made a blog post, which unfortunately uh, the comments uh, became locked after a given period of time. Uh, I was hoping to get the, the books for this draw uh, in a little quicker, but they uh, took a while to get in from the UK. Uh, you, just, you just can't tell. So, uh, uh, so the comments got locked, but we do have 10 comments and I was looking for 10 battles. So <clears throat> most of those will be usable. Uh, there are some uh, battles from uh, the American Civil War, which I really don't have any uh, games on other than uh, kind of operational scale stuff. So that was the first premise, the first need that we were looking to try to uh, uh, fill was uh, helping me build a, a list of battles that we'll be able to uh, explore. And there were some good things in there, Tannenberg and uh, Leipzig and uh, a handful of other battles that I don't recall off the top of my head right now. <coughs> but... We will certainly be taking a look at the ones that I can that uh, we have we own titles for or that we can source titles for or there are relevant titles for. Now, the second and more important reason why we're doing this giveaway, uh, and I'll be also doing a reading on this at some point in the very near future. I've tried to record it a couple of times, but they've had a lot of background noise and the book deserves uh, a little piece of quiet. So the book is uh, called... Uh, the Diary of My Afghanistan Tour. Very straightforward, right? Uh, it's uh, Private uh, C. Burton Shaw, 3011-6964, 3rd Battalion of the Parachute Regiment. And it's his personal experience in uh, combat. It's got an interesting format. It's the uh, literally by day and uh, letters to and from home <coughs> and lots of color pictures. And it's a very interesting read. And I think uh, the winners will enjoy it immensely. But more importantly, the book uh, serves as a backdrop and uh, an adjunct to the 353 organization, which and now as I think about it, I don't know the, the uh, exact URL for that uh, organization. You may notice in some of my videos I wear their t-shirts on a on a fairly regular basis I try to support them and it's a veterans organization that's actually raised uh, over 500,000 uh, pounds and it was established for very specific reasons so let's talk about that and and this is one of the reasons why the book uh, uh, proceeds from the book go to this foundation <coughs> Comrade Lewis served with third para in Afghanistan from 15th of October in 2010 to the uh, 9th of uh, February, 2011. And prior to uh, being in Afghanistan, he had uh, served as a battalion fire support uh, person. And he was uh, qualified on all the heavy machine gun equipment, uh, heavy weapons equipment. He served in Company A3 Para and was deployed as part of, the, of a platoon of about 30 men. And he was uh, situated uh, with with some of these guys uh, in Checkpoint Quadrant, uh, which is in the, as best I can pronounce it, the nad e ali district. Basically, they're, they were in Hel Helmand province, which you uh, all know was pretty tough. He was fully trained lead scout, taking up regular point position at the front of his patrol uh, out into the rural and village locations in his area of ops, uh, his AO. And sadly, on the 9th of Feb, uh, he and his uh, comrade, uh, Private Lewis Hendry, so Comrade Lewis and Lewis Hendry, were shot and killed by a Taliban uh, sharpshooter. 
about a, a, just a kilometer outside of his base. He was repatriated back to the UK and is buried in the village of Claverton uh, near Warwick. And in his memory, his family set up the 353 Charitable Trust. And I'd perhaps suggest that you just Google that. Uh, Named so because Conrad was the 353rd British soldier to die in Afghanistan. And as I mentioned today, his family and friends have raised uh, over 500,000 pounds sterling uh, in his memory. So he's left a lovely legacy in place that will serve veterans uh, back in the UK. <clears throat> so that's the purpose and the point of the of the 353 Foundation. And this book is a uh, great exploration of this gentleman's experiences uh, while he was over there. Blue dye, black dye. Blue dye for the top book. Black dye for the bottom book. Let's do it. I've got a list of 10 guys over here on the left. I got a six and a zero, which we'll take as being a 10. So the 10 is Simon. And this six, 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 six is Simone. So two, <laughs> what? So two Simons. So Simon actually has two entries, but Simone is an, an Italian gentleman who uh, suggested uh, a, a couple of interesting battles, which I now don't recall. One of them was uh, to do uh, with a World War I, I think, battle. And another was uh, an ancient battle. Uh, it's set in Iberia, I believe, but I'll have to double check. So Simon and Simone, if I can find you on Facebook or Twitter or YouTube, be on the lookout. I'm looking for you. I will need your mailing details so that I can send these off to you and we will uh, get them out to you just as soon as we can. And I uh, appreciate all the uh, suggestions and uh, uh, assistance with the blog. Uh, more importantly though, please visit 353 Charitable Trust, buy a t-shirt, buy a book, make a donation, helping, uh, helping folks out who have been left behind, uh, by their government. Uh, the view of the Afghanistan war, uh, in the UK is very different perhaps than what the American view is. All right. And I'll leave it there. All the best, and we'll look forward to talking to all of you soon.